Montana called. Called me at night. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Anyway, he called me to love to play with you and Barry Sanders. Wow. I said, and I jumped off my desk and I went to start Chuck Schmidt. I said. Drop in this week just came out on Amazon Prime. Go check this out. It's called Bye Bye Barry. Now, it's a documentary about ultimately up and retire from the Detroit Lions. Now, I'm going to play a clip. And as y'all saw on the thumbnail, <laughs> Joe Montana, according to former coach Wayne Fontes, and former GM of the Detroit Lions, was looking into Joe Montana and also as well Warren Moon. Wow. That's, that's amazing. This is a gut punch. If you if you're a Detroit Lions fan, this right here is a massive gut punch. It's a whole bunch of what ifs and what could have been. I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and just play the clip, and then we're gonna talk about it right after. Here we go. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what, Barry? We hit every piece but the court. You think so? <laughs> Everything. You know what I'm right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> It would have been it would have been interesting just to be a part of some of y'all conversations about that. I can only <laughs> Joe Montana called called me at night. <laughs> I'm telling you. Anyway, he called me to love to play with you and Barry Sanders. Wow. I said, man, I jumped off my desk and I went to start Chuck Schmidt. And I said, you get a chance to get Joe Montana. And uh, but Chuck Schmidt said, uh, he's too old. So he's old. Really? Really? Hey, he's got another year. I said, well, okay, I went back to Joe. I'm sorry. He goes to Kansas City and plays for him. Lit it up. Yeah, he lit it up in Kansas City. Yeah. Um, I said, let's get more than you. Say, it's too old. <laughs> wow. That's, that's amazing. All right, guys. Before I continue on, because I got a lot to say and a lot to unpack again, go watch that on Amazon uh, Prime that's available. Bye bye, Barry. Um, yeah, folks, I got to be honest with you, man. I, Barry Sanders is like a really nice guy, like a really nice guy. And you see this in the documentary. He's high five and children. And when it comes to ego, he has zero. And that's tough when you have that amount of fame and have accomplished from, from the Heisman to getting to 2000 yards to all these great things. He's a really humble guy, but deep down inside, man, and we all know people who are like really nice people who they don't like to necessarily be so upfront just because they don't like confrontation. That's okay. But in this case, Barry had enough, and that's what led to his retirement. But to him to hear, and I believe that this is the first time Wayne has ever told Barry this, and that that's frustrating. And I, and I know some Detroit fans who really love Wayne Fontes, but man, this is really, really frustrating and problematic. Like, wouldn't you want your guy in the room with you and like, hey, who should we go after quarterback? Okay. And and on top of that, one of the greatest of all time, considered the number two greatest quarterback of all time behind Brady, Joe Montana. He's playing at a super high level and balled out for Kansas City. To take and see that, oh, no, he's too old. And then Warren Moon, who played – now, towards the end of his career, he didn't play super high level, but Warren Moon was a baller, man. He is he's a, he's in the Hall of Fame for crying out loud. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever do it. You have someone like that, and Barry Sanders, my guy. That is just insane. That is pandemonium. Um, as a lifelong Miami Dolphins fan, I do content for the whole league, right? But Detroit Lions fans are cool. Like, I love y'all. If I if I had to choose a second favorite team, it might potentially be the Detroit Lions. And for y'all to take and be at only what two losses this year, man, you guys are cruising to potentially get the first round seed. Um, assuming that the Eagles could lose two or more games <laughs> um for the NFC, right? So big things for Detroit on the way. And I'm like super happy for you guys. I'm pulling for you, I'm pulling for you guys heavy. But, man, guys, comment below. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this. Um, obviously very frustrating. And then just hear the laugh. Just hear the laugh of Barry. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what, Barry? We hit every I like the look in his eyes. He's looking at in Wayne, and he wants to hear what he has to say. And I don't know, man. I'm just – I'm frustrated, man. I get frustrated even though that's not necessarily my team. I get frustrated for great players who's – and I can't even say it was a wasted career, but obviously you want to take and see people um, accomplish great things. You want to see people take and go to the Super Bowl. You want to take and see your, your guys break even more records. I wanted to see him because I started watching football around third grade. So we're talking around 98. So I got to at least appreciate Barry for, you know, one to two football seasons towards the end of his career. And 
I remember that. I remember hearing people spazzing out. I remember hearing kids in my elementary school who were pissed off. And I lived in California at the time, right? So I don't know, man. Just very frustrating. But guys, please, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Hit that subscribe button. That does help the channel to take and grow. And comment below. Hit that bell for the alerts. God bless you guys. We'll catch y'all next time on the Touchdown with Doug Smith. Thanks for watching another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith, where I cover all 32 NFL teams plus NFL exclusive interviews. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for the alerts. Comment below, and we'll catch you next time on the Touchdown with Doug Smith.